Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I put my hair in kinky twists. Before I put my hair in any protective hairstyle, I like to dip condition my hair. And in this video, I will be doing the hot oil treatment. What I use for this is olive oil in my kitchen, which I use for everyday cooking, a microwavable bowl and a measuring cup. I pour the oil in a bowl and pop that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. When the 30 seconds is over, I check the temperature first before applying it on my scalp. If the oil is too hot, it could cause my scalp to burn, so I try to avoid that. Then I head on onto my bathroom, pop a towel across my shoulder and start sectioning my hair to allow the oil penetrate properly. I make sure to apply the oil from the scalp until the entire length of my hair. This process is also known as a pre-pull, which is something you do before applying shampoo. I have dry scalp and my hair gets dry really quickly, so this process prevents my hair from being stripped of all the moisture after washing. I take my time and I go section after section until my hair is fully saturated with the oil. When I'm done applying the oil, I give my hair a gentle massage using the pulp of my fingers to prevent any injury to my scalp. This was how much oil I had left over and how messy the sink was when I was done applying the oil to my hair. So now it's time to tie up my hair. I'm using a normal shopping bag because I have run out of heat caps. I would normally tie that really tightly in the back and I'm ready to sit on the, the hooded dryer for about 45 minutes. So in this time, I'll pick up a book or catch up on my TV show. And when I'm done sitting for about 45 minutes, I'll go into my bathroom and I'll give my hair a thorough wash. Let it air dry and I get ready for the braiding the next day. For my braid, I'm using the Aftrest Afro Twist braid, my Shea Butter Mix, a leave-in conditioner and my hair tools and these tools include a hair clip a pair of scissors a tangle teaser brush a tail comb and a spray bottle hey guys so I have pretty much spent the entire weekend braiding my hair and as David would call it this weekend was a hair weekend so as you saw previously I would normally deep condition my hair first and I thought my hair was really dry and needed a hot oil treatment, which is what I did. So prior to the braiding, I'll divide my hair into very small sections and start the braiding. And as I had mentioned in one of my hair videos, I would normally start from the front, the side and the back, just in case I don't have the time to complete it and I can hold it back and, you know, cover up what's going on in the middle. So I'm going to show you how I achieve my twist. I've left the front bit here and I will be showing you a tutorial with this small section here. So keep watching guys. What I do is to get my spray bottle. It's a bit cloudy at the moment because I did have conditioner in there. But at the moment I just have the bottle filled halfway with water. And in this bottle, I'm going to put in a few squirts of my conditioner. The conditioner that I have here is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. It's a leave-in and a rinse-out conditioner. I normally use it as a rinse-out conditioner or for deep conditioning. I don't normally use it to braid my hair. The conditioner that I would normally use is the Giovanni leave-in conditioner. But I've run out of that at the moment, so I'm going to use this. 
Um, that goes to say that it doesn't matter what conditioner that you have, you can get something really cheap, as long as it's a good conditioner and you feel like it's healthy for your hair, that, that can do. So I just put in a few squirts in the bottle, give it a wee bit of a shake, okay, so that's ready. Then I untwist one of the sections, then I just spray that. So now my hair feels a bit moisturized and soft. I'm just going to take my shea butter mix. I made this myself. This I've just put it into an old container that I had and I will make a video on how I made this shea butter mix. I promise I will. But for the purposes of this video, you can use whatever oils that you need to seal in the moisture, okay? But I'm going to use my shea butter mix. It is raw shea butter with a couple of natural oils okay so i'm just gonna take a bit of that after i've done that i use my tangle teaser so this is equivalent to a denman brush and you can also use a white tooth comb but basically anything that is going to prevent your hair from breaking I just brush through the section. After I've given that a good comb through and made sure that there are no tangles, it's time to start the braiding. So as I showed earlier, the hair that I am using is the Aftress Afro Twist Braid. Um, I got this online and a pack of this cost £3.99. As you know, the hair already comes sectioned. It comes sectioned in strands like this. However, this is the first time that I've actually decided to divide it and use half rather than one. I decided to use half because I wanted the twist to be really tiny. This is the difficulty, I'm not going to lie, and that's what has made me take longer time braiding this hair because it comes in a very kinky texture so it's a bit of a struggle dividing this into two strands. So I'll show you how I divide this. So starting from the top, I just go quickly separating it from top to bottom basically. This is the messy bit of this hair process. You need a lot of patience to do this. So now that I've separated it I just go from the middle like this and try to drag it, okay? You can see how messy this is. So I drag it and I manage to, to divide it. I take one of the selections and try to run my hand through to take out all the knots and there you have something like this. I'm going to start sectioning the hair and I'll start the braiding. So with the tail comb, I just section the hair This is how small that I like to make my sections. So I then I take a hair clip, I roll this, and I clip it down so it's out of the way. And so with the tiny section, I do another comb through with a uh, narrow tooth comb. And the only reason that I'm using a narrow tooth comb is because my hair is wet and moisturized already. I wouldn't advise you to do it on dry hair, okay? So. Just an easy comb through, like so. So time to start the braiding. With the strand that you have, okay, fold it in half. Then grab the strand that you've sectioned. And then you braid. And then when I come up to this point, when I've had just a little bit of braiding done, I'd normally split my hair in half and then attach it to the two strands that I have. And then I start the twisting. Okay, so this is where my hair has stopped. And then I continue the twisting. Okay. 
Okay, so now that you've gotten to the end of the twist, you take your pair of scissors and literally just chop the end. I'd like to do that strand by strand, just so that it saves me the stress of going back and having to trim the whole hair again. Voila guys, I love the new hair already. So, few things about this hairstyle that I know that a few people are going to ask me. Number one is how many packs did I use, okay? So far, I'm almost done with my hair and I am still in the second pack. I, I normally have this twist, but really bigger. It's kind of like my go-to hairstyle. And I would normally use four packs, but as you know, because I am splitting it in half, it is, I'm taking up less, way less than I normally use. So I'm still in the second pack. Number two, someone's gonna ask me, how long did it take to get my hair done? I really cannot put, a time on how long it took me to get this hair done. I would definitely say that it took me longer than usual because of the time that I used to split the hair. Secondly, because I have to take more breaks to feed myself. If you are attempting the hairstyle yourself for the first time, I would advise you that it is going to likely take you a whole day. So prepare for that. I prefer getting braids done because it just gives you access to your scalp and there is nothing more liberating than being able to give yourself a scalp massage. So I prefer it to fix in my hair. Some of you know in uh, most of my videos or pictures, I always have braids on. Normally every morning, the way that I would maintain this hairstyle is basically the same thing. Like take a spray bottle, with water and your favorite conditioner and spray it every morning. You can add oil into the bottle directly or once you're done spraying it, you could take your shea butter mix and rub it all throughout the hair. And that will keep it really shiny. You can wash the hair while it's in braids. You can dip condition it while it's in braids. So there are just so many things that makes me love this hairstyle very much. I still have a bit more at the back to go, but I would advise that if you are going to get your hair done, really start from the front and the back because if I hold my hair up like that, nobody has a clue, okay, that the middle of my hair is still not braided. Look, if I hold it up that way, you can't even tell that the middle is not braided. So I would advise you to start braiding from the front, the back and the side. I hope you've enjoyed watching guys. Good luck for those of you attempting to do your hair for the first time, you can do it. Practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching guys, bye.